One thing the couple did well together, according to Lewis, was go against what was expected of them. He pulls the book's title from the Vatican, who, shocked by Taylor and Burton's open proclamations of adultery, said they would end in erotic vagrancy in the Vatican newspaper in 1962. Everyone was behaving themselves in accordance to what the studios told them to do and told them how to behave, manufacturing their private lives for public consumption, Lewis explains. Burton and Taylor just threw all that out. Inside the night Princess Margaret's flirting with Richard Burton upset wife Elizabeth Taylor. When it came time for films like the 1966 Mike Nichols directed Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, which starred both Burton and Taylor, as well as George Siegel and Sandy Dennis, the couple largely excelled as a unit, Lewis says. I think they did learn from each other, and maybe detract from each other a bit, and added a bit to each other, he says of their performance as husband and wife George and Martha. They're in real harmony as artists, it's like their marriage there we're watching in the film, but sort of in a stylized way. It's turned into art. Never miss a story sign up for People's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what People has to offer, from celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. Erotic Vagrancy hits shelves on March 26th and is now available for pre-order.